Hi class. Um, in this video, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about some of your uh, harder problems in your week two homework that have to deal with what we call the sampling distribution of the sample mean. All right, so this is um, what I have loaded up here is I have um, problem 10 um, from your homework. Okay, and it says determine mu sub x bar and sigma x bar. Now that sigma x bar in statistics is what we call the standard error. So we want to determine those. Um, and uh, from the given parameters of the population and sample size. Okay, so I'm telling you that the population mean is 90, population standard deviation is eight. And what we're doing here is we're sampling um, uh, 64 individuals. Okay, so what is mu sub x bar? Well, in statistics, mu sub x bar, the average of the averages should be whatever the population average is. So it should be 90. Yes, we got it. All right, what is sigma x bar? Well, sigma x bar is you take whatever the population standard deviation is, e, and you divide that by the square root of the sample size, which is the square root of 64. Well, if you plug that in your calculator, the square root of 64 is 8, and 8 divided by 8, this answer should be 1. All right, we got it. Great. All right, now let's try um, this harder problem, number 11. Okay, and there's a there's a lot of parts to this. Okay, suppose the lengths of pregnancies of a certain animal are approximately normally distributed. So on average, pregnancy lengths are 187 days, and standard deviation is 11 days. Okay. All right, so we got a bunch of problems here. So the first one, a, what is the probability that a random, just a single random selected pregnancy lasts less than 183 days? Well. This, what you want to do for this problem is you want to load up your stat crunch. And when I tell you something is normally distributed or when the question tells you it's normally distributed, mean, standard deviation, and then ask for probability, you're going to want to use this normal curve calculator. All right, so I'm going to go stat, calculator, normal. Now the mean for this problem was 187 days. The standard deviation was 11. And the problem asked, what is the probability you're less than 183 days? So all I'm going to do is hit compute. Now the problem said uh, round to four decimal places. So here's four decimal places, 0 0.3580, but I'm going to have to round that to a one. Let's check our answer. Yes, I got it. So the normal calculator solves that very quickly. All right, the next one. Um, the probability, okay, so it goes on to say interpret this probability. Okay, select the co correct choice below. All right, so if 100 pregnant individuals were selected independent of the population, we would expect blank pregnancies to last less than um, uh, 130, 183 days. If 100 pregnant individuals were selected independent of the population, we would expect blank pregnancies to last exactly uh, 183 days. And if 100 pregnant individuals were selected independently from the population, we would expect blank pregnancies to last more than 183 days. Well, if we we're going to um, select 100 pregnancies, what this is saying is that we expect roughly 36% of them to be less than 183 days. So I'm going to select A. I'm going to round this to an integer, which would be 36. And let me check my answer. We got it. Next one. Suppose a random sample of 18 pregnancies is obtained. Okay. Describe the sampling distribution of the sample mean length of pregnancies. Well, because the original population is normal, right? We would expect that x bar to be normal. Mu sub x bar, the average of the averages, would be the same. <coughs> excuse me, as the real average, 187. And sigma x bar, well, remember, to find this, you take the population standard deviation, 11, and divide that by the square root of the sample size, which is the square root of 18 pregnancies. And that would be, and this says go out four decimal places, it would be 2.5927. All right, let's check our answers. Fantastic, we got it. All right, 
Uh, what is the probability that a random sample of 18 pregnancies has a mean gestation period? So that's the length of the pregnancy of 183 days or less. Well, you're going to go back to the normal curve calculator, right? So it's the mean of 18 pregnancies. So the, the mean, the average of the averages, mu sub x bar, still 187. But now my standard deviation was 2.5. 927. And I'm just going to hit compute again. Now, this problem said uh, round to four decimal places. So 0 0.0614 when I round it. Just going to copy that. Plug that in here. I got it. Great. So it's the same interpretation here. Um, we would expect that it would be less than. So we want in 100 independent random samples of size n is equal to 18, we would expect rounding this to uh, integer, we would expect roughly six to have sample mean of 183 days or less. Got it. All right, same thing here. What is the probability of the random sample of 37 pregnancies has a mean gestation period of um, 183 days or less. Now here they're trying to trick you. Okay? They're changing the sample size to 37. So what you have to do is you have to find the new standard error. So that would be 11 divided by the square root of 37. So my standard error would change to be a 1.8084 when I round it. So 1.8084 when I round it. Let me just check that. Yep. So the standard error is changing, but I'm still interested in the probability of being less than 183. So when I hit compute, rounding this to four decimal places, it's going to be 0 0.0135 when I round it. And you can see I got it. And it's going to be the same thing. We would expect them to have less than. So rounding this to the first integer would just be one. So we got it. OK, so what might you conclude in a random sample of 37 pregnancies result in a mean gestation period? This result would be uh, unusual because it's less than uh, 5%. So the sample likely comes from a population whose mean gestation period is actually, since it's unusual, probably less than because we observe something much less than the 187. All right, so in a random sample of size 15, we'll have a mean gestation period within nine days of the mean. Right? So what is the, prob the probability that a random sample of 15 of them will have a mean gestation period within nine days of the mean? So this one, um, you have to, again, find we're only doing a random sample of 15. So you're going to take 11 divided by the square root of 15. And your new standard error is going to be 2.8401. So this is going to be between. All right, and I'll explain why. 2.80, pardon me, 41. 8401, excuse me. All right, so you want to be within nine of the mean. So you could be nine below. So take 187, subtract nine, uh, you get 178. Take 187 and add nine, you get 196. And hit compute. And if you take this and round it to um, uh, four decimal places is going to be 0 0.9985 when I do that. And we got it. So I know this was a little confusing and a lot was going on, but if you follow exactly what I did with the stat crunch calculator, um, you should be able to get this problem.